What's going on there guys? Good afternoon. It is uh, the Earthmaster here on this Sunday, April 24th, 2022 date. It is about 12.17 p.m. California time. Latest quake shows uh, an earthquake out here in the South America region with a 3.5 down there at about 104 kilometers deep. Looks like a, a little bit of other earthquake activity going on down there for that 3.5 in the South America region. Quite a bit of uh, swarming going on currently in that area let's go ahead and look at the rest of the map here on the usgs scale seeing some of that movement show up here above the 4.0 threshold into the south america region where we also seen a 5.0 down there around the chile area south of santiago 89 kilometers for that 5.0 uh, kind of a bigger story and definitely a noticeable uptick in earthquake activity here around the northwestern portion of the Pacific Ring of Fire right here around the Japan Trench and the Kurokamachaka Trench all getting in on some heightened earthquake activity over the last 24 hours and uh, looks like quite a few fives and fours down here uh, or up here I should say in this region and uh, getting a little cluster of quakes somewhat deep somewhat shallow and when stuff like this happens we gotta watch out and uh, definitely be prepared for possibly something larger uh, this area here north of the Japan Trench has been relatively quiet in terms of large earthquake activity. So uh, could be under the gun here uh, in the coming hours or days for possibly a larger movement uh, earthquake in that region. Uh, some further activity down here along the uh, western part of the or northwestern part of the Philippine Plate towards the East China Sea as well. A couple of fours and fives scattered out and about in that region. And a little bit further down south here, latest quake, uh, at least on this map, a 4.6 in the Indonesia region. Uh, a little bit of activity here to the west around the Java Trench and the Java Sea. A couple fours and fives uh, kicking off in that area. Uh, one earthquake here in the Papua New Guinea region, a 5.3. Pretty shallow movement at about 10 kilometers. And we're getting a return of some uh, deep earthquake activity here uh, in the Fiji area. South of Fiji, Tonga region. Looks like this is going to be right into the Tonga Trench there, 544 kilometer deep, 4.5, and uh, another deep one, 4.4 at 342 uh, kilometers deep there. So some pretty deep movement going on in that area. We have seen a little bit of activity uh, here in the New Zealand region, uh, 3.5 kicking off here. That looks like uh, late last night, early this morning actually, it looks like that's an early morning um, earthquake. 60 kilometer deep movement uh, of course we have that hikarangi subduction zone which sits within this region still kind of watching that pretty closely i'm still expecting something above a five within this region here uh, just got to have a little bit of adjustment here and it hasn't happened so we're watching that zone pretty closely uh, some further earthquake activity here off the coast of nicaragua nicaragua there we go let's spit this out and uh, Middle America Trench. Looks like the southern end here. Still seeing some aftershock sequences there following that 6.7 a couple days ago now in that area. Uh, a little bit further up north, uh, <clears throat> looks like a 4.0 off the coast of Mexico, Guatemala area. Uh, yeah, Mexico right here, The uh, still in the Middle America Trench, about 22 kilometer deep, 4.0. And some further movement here in the Puerto Rico area. With uh, this is the all magnitudes map, so not showing too much in terms of a lot of activity. It looks like 25 earthquakes within this region over the last 24 hours, including a 2.1. Uh, looks like about 16 kilometer deep in that area of Puerto Rico. Uh, looking up here in the states, not a whole lot going on throughout the eastern part of the country. Did have uh, one 2.5 here late last night into the main area, way up there. And also some activity here in eastern Oklahoma, out there by, uh, I believe that's Quinton, right? Crowder, Quinton, somewhere around Quinton area. Uh, getting a little activity. There is a couple fault systems. Of course, got some mountain ranges here. Uh, beautiful area. I love that region this time of year. Uh, what do we got going on out here on the west coast? Not a whole lot throughout the northwest. Includes Washington and Oregon. A little bit of activity stretching down here into the California area with uh looks like one right smack dab on the San Andreas Fault here near Pinnacles. 
A little bit of activity throughout the eastern part of Sierra Nevada, but really nothing major going on here in California today. A little swarm. Seen this come in late last night. Looks like we've had at least one more earthquake in this area this morning. Uh, that around the Compton, Hollywood area. Um, just the uh, concrete jungle down there. Um, airport, uh, looks like the Compton Airport sits around here. About nine earthquakes. Um, some of this pretty deep. Look at these depths here. 20 kilometers uh, for some of these earthquakes. And that's a little crazy. 27. Makes me think there might be some uh, subduction zone down there. I'm trying to think what fault systems are in this area. I got the Newport Inglewood fault zone and also a little bit of activity here. Uh, Newport Inglewood Rose Canyon fault. It's just a spider web of complex systems out here. Newport Inglewood. Let's go ahead and check this out here real quick on the data center here. We'll go check out the Newport Inglewood. Uh, I believe that's a Rose Canyon fault, right? Yes, that is the Rose Canyon fault system. So a little info on that. Uh, looks like about a 90 kilometer length for this uh, little fault system. Runs through a good portion, of course, of LA, <coughs> Los Angeles area. Uh, slip rate between 0.8 and 2.1 mm per year. Interval between major ruptures is uncertain. Uh, probable magnitudes look like between 6 and 7.0, 7 7.2. Uh, uncertain due to uncertainty in the uh, continuity of the fault zone. Okay, this fault zone lies entirely offshore. Maybe, maybe this isn't the right one. Newport Inglewood Fault. Looks like it's online, or uh, at least on shore. A little on the odd side for it to say that when it's clearly uh, over the land or under the land here. All right, well, either way, we'll keep an eye on it. Uh, just a little swarming activity. Like I said, there's just been one uh, for the earthquake this morning in that area, a 1.4. Uh, that was just a uh, couple hours ago or so. What else we got here? Not a whole lot going on throughout the Brawley Seismic Zone. One little earthquake down here in the Baja, California region with a 2.5. And, uh, of course, we've seen that uh, 5.3 up there around the northern end of the Cascadia last night, or yesterday, I should say. Since then, no further development that I can see in that area. Uh, tremor map was, uh, we'll go ahead and check that out. Looks like 95 epicenters of tremor yesterday. Mostly around Seattle, a little bit down here in the Oregon region as well. So it's been uh, kind of ongoing here for a little while. No major uptick in tremor uh, to report. Alaska, a little movement up here, but even then, that area not seen too much in terms of uh, heightened earthquake activity. Same for the Big Island, looks pretty uh, mellow for now. 16 earthquakes, including a couple up here at the top of Mauna Loa. Pretty shallow movement there, crustal quakes. It uh, looks like we've got a 2.0 and a 1.7 within that vicinity. Yellowstone National Park, I don't believe we have too much uh, pop in there today. It looks pretty quiet, looks pretty mellow. Not a whole lot going on whatsoever. Have a couple small, very small microquakes going on. But uh, overall, things just looking uh, like a typical day there in Yellowstone. Solar weather activity. Go ahead and pull this up here. Uh, it's still just kind of minimal, folks. Even with these super massive large sunspots, there's just not a whole lot of dynamic mixing of the polarity of the fields here to create a spark or a flare, so to speak. Uh, but of course, that's always uh, could always change. Looks like we've been almost consistent here on the lower C flare side, right across this line right here. Uh, looks like the last M flare was from a couple days ago. Things are just kind of mellow at the moment, folks. A little little odd, but like I say, these things are somewhat stable. Uh, C flare at 99% chance, M flare at 40. They dropped the X flare potential down to about 10. So, but then again, like I say, we, you know, we can't accurately 100% forecast solar weather events. I uh, can look at the polarities and see if there's any possible intermixing between them and then maybe get a good idea of what uh, uh, could take place. But uh, either way, they're huge. They're definitely well-developed. 
but there's not a whole lot of uh, mixing of the the fields got some further development here 2998 looks like uh, some activity up here as well so we'll watch it for the coming days see what happens and let's see if we can't get some I guarantee you this is just kind of a a little quiet spell uh, as we head towards the solar maximum here in 2025 roughly around the peak uh, July area July 2025 so um, just because it's slow right now doesn't mean it's gonna stay slow it's definitely uh, gonna get active I have a strange feeling all right guys uh, what do we got here not a whole lot going on today here on my side just gonna take it easy after working out in the yard and the field all day um, me and Missy Mimi's uh, Oh, we mowed and weed eated uh, about 2.5 acres of uh, foxtails. <laughs> foxtails and bull thistles and all sorts of stuff out there. So I can kind of feel it in my throat today. I wasn't wearing a mask. Um, so breathing in a little bit of that dust and fibers and stuff like that kind of affecting the uh, the uh, voice box, it feels like, a little bit today. So it is what it is. Not that big of a deal. I'll probably hack it up later. We'll see. <laughs> all right, guys. So... We'll chat you a little bit later on this evening with the update video. Hope everyone enjoys the rest of the weekend out there. Stay safe.